Welcome back on this Monday to These Things Are Written. It, we had a week off where I was unable to get uh, the one week's devotions ready. So we are starting up again right where we left off. I'm glad you're joining me back with this. Uh, we're picking up 1 Corinthians chapter 10, starting with verse 14 and continuing through verse 22. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to sensible people, judge for yourselves what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Consider the people of Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar? What do I imply then? That food offered to idols is anything? Or that an idol is anything? No, I imply that what pagans sacrifice when they offer to demons and, and not to God. I do not want you to participate with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Shall we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? As we start this section, looking at it, digging into it a little bit more, it begins with therefore. Uh, this therefore, remember, is a link to the previous section and where he's talking about fleeing from uh, idols, fleeing from uh, sexual immorality, things like that. And also, even before that, in chapter 9, uh, talking about food sacrificed to idols. Here he connects it to the Lord's Supper. The community aspect of the Lord's Supper. We who drink of the cup uh, are, is a participation in the, the body of Christ. The bread, again, in the body of Christ. The community aspect where we all eat of the same loaf, drink of the same cup. Even though it is individual cup, he means as a whole, together. That's what he he's talking about here. And then verse 17, he moves into the talking about uh, the sacrifices. Um, consider the people of Israel are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar. When they would sacrifice the animal, they would be able to eat of that animal. That was part of what it is. Remember back, we talked a little bit about this, I believe, when we looked at uh, the book of Leviticus the priests were, would be able to eat of it as well. They were stating their belief, their offering to the Lord um, in that way. So when we eat food sacrificed to idols, it is not to God, but to demons. And to acknowledge that is really being opposed to God. Again, this the, he is addressing those who eat willingly at the table of those who eat uh, sacrifices to idols. In other words, they are including God as one of their gods among many as they're going with them. Uh, this really, in a way, brings up our uh, practice of close communion, uh, where we do not commune those who do not believe what we believe, because we are one body of Christ together. We celebrate together. Uh, and if you, if someone doesn't believe what we believe about the Lord's Supper, should they commune with us if that's not our belief? That is really the practical application of this section. The unity we have in the Lord's Supper. Not joining in with others in their worship of their false gods. Uh, Welcome. Uh, I, I'm glad to be back here this week. I missed the few days that I wasn't able to record. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll continue this discussion that we have from 1 Corinthians chapter 10.